Hello my friends, we are back on Luminar Neo and today we are going to take this image over here and transform it into something like this. Now as a disclaimer, this photo I did not take, I downloaded from Pexels. Pexels is a free website where you can download copyright free images for use however you want. I have a whole video about Pexels, go find that one and it will show you how to install it as a plugin for Photoshop or you can just use it from the website. Let's see, I will start with the develop module and I want to prep this image because it's going to be a night sky. I want to, first of all, darken it a little bit. Then I am going to, let's see, I'm going to exit the develop, enter it again, take the exposure even more down and the highlights down. And this time I am only going to paint them into the house. And maybe a little bit over here in the foreground. And that is good for now. Maybe a little bit more over here. Okay. Next, I am going to add a little bit of structure. And mostly this is going to be into the house and this walk over here. All right, and that looks good to me so far. Let's see, maybe I'll go into landscape and just add a little bit of golden hour. And that looks good. Now let's move into the sky. Sky AI, and I am going to choose my Milky Way shot. You know what, before I put the sky in, let's just go crop it because I am not thrilled with the crop that it has right now. So I'm just gonna make it a square and pretend this is for Instagram. I am going to center it, something like that. And I think that would work. Okay, now we're we'll going to the sky and I will choose my Milky Way sky. All right, that looks good. Next, let's see. Let's see our uh, options here. Sky orientation, I like it the way it's going right now. I do not need to flip it. The mask looks just fine. Scene relight, I am going to increase this to darken the foreground. I do not have re reflection, sky adjustments. I do not need to mess with this. Maybe darken it just a little bit. All right. What else? It's still a little bit too bright in the foreground. So let's go back. First of all, I want to erase the sky just from my little light over here on the lighthouse because that will still be bright and I do not want it to be this dark. So I am going to take my eraser tool with a small brush and just erase out this part over here, just like that. That looks more realistic. All right, now let's move on into darkening a little bit more of this foreground. So I'll go back into develop and I'll take the exposure down and the highlights down. And I'm just going to paint this into this over here where it's too bright. And maybe a little bit on this side. And that looks better. I went a little bit too far over here, so we're gonna take the eraser and just kind of erase that part. All right, and that looks better. Maybe fix it on this side too a little bit. Now I went too much, go painting again. Okay, that looks better. Maybe I even wanna darken a little bit over here. Maybe the whole house, because normally it would not be this bright in the dark, just like that. And that looks pretty good. 
brighten it over here a little bit. All right, we'll pretend that is good. Now, what else? Now we will use sun rays, and yes, you can use sun rays, not just for the sun. You can use it for any lights, car lights, street lights, and uh, we'll just give it kind of like a cool effect. I'm going to decrease the sun rays length, and let's see, penetration, how much do we want it to? Maybe something like that. Uh, sun setting. We can mess with the glow sun rays, maybe the warmth, we're just gonna make it a little bit yellower to go with our scene. And that looks fun. So let's see, we started with this and we ended with this. What else? This uh, post over here looks a little bit maybe too bright. So we're gonna go back and Tone those down a little bit. I'll take the exposure down. And with the brush, I am just going to paint strictly on these poles. Like that. Let's see. That is before and after. Tone it down a little bit. Maybe even make it a little bit darker on this side over here. All right. So let's see, we started here and we ended up here, before and after. And that was just a quick fun edit, turning good daytime into nighttime. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. My name is Skylar Ewing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.